When it comes to working out and how to drop the first 10 pounds in the new year, you need to push but not injure yourself, find out how many workouts you've been doing and see if we can volumize that. Add a two minute hit and cardio workout to your daily routine, aim for a higher step count, make sure that you're there for the entire workout, which includes doing the full stretch, and of course, take the class photo. Now when it comes to your working outs, you want to push yourself, but you never want to injure yourself. Now I know a lot of us want to go hardcore, but when we get to the point where we feel something that doesn't feel like muscular tension or pump, where it feels like you've strained yourself, you immediately need to decrease the load or even consider not doing that exercise for the entire day. Because if you push past where your muscles are growing, you could be pushing into the point of pain, which means that you've slightly injured yourself and that small injury can linger forever. So don't push yourself to the point where you get injured, push yourself to the point where you're feeling a great workout, where you're gonna be sore tomorrow, but never injured. Now when it comes to working outs, you should find out how many workouts that you've been doing on a regular basis. Can you do a minimum of five workouts? Now, if you've been doing five workouts, I would tell you to add an extra weekend workout. So if you can get that six day in, that six day, even if it's just 30 minutes, because that's all we do, is gonna go a long way when you look at what you've accomplished over the next 52 weeks. If you're already doing six days a week or six plus workouts, then can we fit a workout into the AM and fit a workout into the PM? Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be coming to a class because if you don't have the time, we completely understand. So stick to your regular AM or PM workout, but maybe in the PM or the AM, you can get up a little bit earlier and add a virtual. The virtuals aren't very long. They're about 20 minutes, and it's a great way just to increase the amount of calories that you're burning on every single day. And over the 52 weeks, you're gonna really see some massive progress just by adding that virtual three to five times a week. I'm not saying go with six, but maybe you can add three to five virtuals over the next 52 weeks. And honestly, do this for 21 days, you'll see massive amounts of results. Now, what I would suggest that in the midday, to keep that metabolism revved up because our metabolism is most revved up in the morning and it's actually the most revved up in the evening because of the food that we ate. It actually takes a lot of your metabolism to break down food and convert it to energy. So in the midday is when you kind of get that lull. So what I want you to do is a two minute cardio and core blast which incorporates doing high knees, jumping jacks, V sit ups and Russian twists. Do them for 30 seconds each with a five second break and that's just two minutes middle of the day. Now when it comes to steps, most of us are already trained for 10,000 steps. So in the new year, I want you to focus on hitting 12,000 steps. So on your watch, on your count timer, instead of just being happy with 10,000, let's now take it back to when you first started hitting 10,000 and excited, and let's aim for a little bit more at 12,000 steps. This little bit of activity is gonna go a long way over the next 52 weeks. Now, when it comes to taking care of your body, we have to do the extra stretches. And you have to be there early to get the proper warm up because it's a small difference that's gonna make a increase in performance, decrease the soreness, and it's also gonna prevent your injuries. And I know we think that it's not the meat and potatoes of the workout, but honestly, if you're warm, your body functions 20% more. And if you can output 20% more without actually getting injured, then you're gonna get 20% more results over the 52 weeks, you're gonna see massive changes. At the end, do the full stretch. Not many of us take time to actually stretch. I do a stretching routine first thing in the morning, takes me about five minutes, and I do a stretching routine at the evening, takes me another five minutes, and then I also make sure that I'm doing all of the stretches that we do in classes. So when it comes to doing the stretch, I know you got dinner to make and you got people to see, et cetera, et cetera, but if you're really looking to make a change this year, then make sure that you stick around and do the stretch. And the last but not least is taking that class photo. Now it might seem goofy, it might seem funny to you, and you might not have the time for it, but honestly taking the class photo, even if you took one a week and you saved it, and looking at your progress over 52 weeks, you're gonna really see the results and the changes that you've made. Not many of us take photos of ourselves, much less a full length photo. So my suggestion that is just jump into a class photo and you're gonna see such progress over the next 52 weeks if you follow the workout tips that I just gave you to help you lose those 10 pounds. Now, if you're looking to really shred out those 10 pounds and you're brand new to exercising, you're looking for a kickstart, go to our website, www.fitclub.fit. Send us a message, mention the five days, and we'll get you started today.